Hi guys, um, today we are going to be looking at functions. Um, to be more specific, we are going to be asked to identify the intervals where the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. So uh, I can read to you, but I'd rather uh, show you the illustration. So um, to make that call, if the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant, we pretty much look at the graph and read it from left to right. If the graph uh, appears to go up, then we're going to say that the function is increasing on this interval, namely from A to B. If the function appears to go down, then we're going to say that the function is decreasing on this interval from A to B. But if the function is flat, then you guessed it, then we're going to tell the reader that the function is constant on that interval. So let's go, go ahead and look at, at our first and only fun problem. So it says, the graph of a function f is given uh, from the top. The graph of a function f is given at right and they want us to find all these cool uh, items. So the first thing they want us to find the domain, range, x-intercepts, y-intercepts, intervals over which the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. And if that wasn't enough math for you, they want us to evaluate the function at negative 4, negative 3, 1. It doesn't really matter which of the problems you answer first. You can answer them in order. Just answer them. No one's going to know which one you answered first. Okay, so I'll just do it and say my order. Okay, domain. So uh, from the beginning of the semester, we, we had said that the domain is given by the set of all the input value or all the x values. The range is all the output values or the y's. So from this graph, what is the domain? So I want all the x's that are used to create this graph. So it looks like we have the x values that are smaller than negative 3. So the interval is going to be from negative infinity to negative 3. But I'm not quite sure if negative 3 is included. So it's definitely not included here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so in interval notation, the domain is given by the set of all the input values or the x values that are used to create this graph. So I have all the negative numbers under negative 3. So we have negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Um, at x equals negative 3, uh, x equals negative 3 is not defined in this piece and I look up and we also have an open circle there so actually the function is not defined at x equals negative 3 so an in interval notation is going to be from uh, negative infinity to negative 3 let me go ahead and zoom out so the domain, what are all the x values that are used to create this graph? And we're in interval notation because there's too many to uh, spit out one by one. It's going to be given by negative infinity to negative 3, where negative 3 is excluded. And we also have more x values that are used to create the graph. We have x equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, Four and all the way up. So pretty much we have the numbers that are less than negative 3 and the numbers that are bigger than negative 3. So we're going to go ahead and throw a union symbol and it's going to be uh, the interval from negative 3 to infinity. So all together the domain or the x values that are used to create this graph is given by the interval from negative infinity to negative 3 where negative 3 is excluded union interval from negative 3 to positive infinity where once again negative 3 is excluded now what about the y's uh what are the output values or what are the y values that are used to create this graph so from domain since we go from left to right on the similar note for range we go bottom up so what is the lowest uh value of this function or the lowest value of y the lowest value of y is not negative 4 because this this part keeps extending forever and Ever. So we're going to have all the negative y values. So it's going to be from negative infinity to what is the highest value of y. So let me go ahead and take out my special effect. I'm going to trace this curve. And it looks like we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. And we take a little break. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that first interval. So all the y's, the lowest y to the highest y. So it's, we have, we're coming from the negative side. So it's going to be from negative infinity to negative 2. And uh, this point is um, is not there because of the open circle, so negative 2 will be excluded. And then we have more y's that are used to create this graph. So we have y equals 2. So we have union, y equals 2, 
until where do we stop? We have y equals 3, we have y equals 4. On graph, on the paper that we have, we have y equals 4. But this bad boy keeps extending. So if we had the space, we would have y equals 6, y equals 7, and so forth. So we're going to have all the positive y. So we're going from 2 to infinity. The infinities are always, uh, always get parentheses because they don't represent specific numbers. And y equals 2, we have a y equals 2 on the graph. So it's going to go ahead and get a bracket. Okay, x and y intercepts. X intercept, point where the line intercepts the x axis. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the x axis. Let me go ahead and label that. And I want to know where does the graph intercept the x axis. And uh, that's a line because as you can see, this graph does not intercept the x axis. So there is there there aren't any so if you can do me a favor write uh, any form of none or something to let me know that you just didn't know how to answer y intercept uh what is that point where the line or the line sorry point where the graph intercepts the y-axis so in this case we have the vertical axis so the graph intercepts the y-axis at 2 so the y-intercept is at 2 okay so fantastic we answered the first four problems let's go ahead and knock out the remaining if I know how to count I believe six Okay, the next three, we're going to go ahead and answer them together. Okay, so we want to identify the intervals where the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Now, you can answer them in order, but, but for me, it's a little bit easier just to read this graph from left to right. And, and as we read it, if the function is increasing, we put it right there. If the function is decreasing, we put it right there. And if the function is constant, we put it right there. So as we trace this graph from left to right, look at my special effect. Looks like we're going up. Okay, so the function is gonna is increasing from this x value all the way to that x value. The x values are the numbers that are smaller than negative three, so it's from negative infinity to negative three. This point is out, so it's gonna be um, from negative infinity to negative three, where negative three is excluded. So let me go ahead and pencil that in. So negative infinity to negative three. I understand that this is not a pencil, that's just how I speak. Okay. So negative 3 is excluded. Okay, we keep uh, looking at this graph. We keep tracing it. Uh, we resume over here, and then it is flat or constant, as some of you may say. And we want to tell the reader that the graph or the graph or the function is constant from this x value to that x value. At this point, the value of x is negative 3. At this point, the value of x is positive 3. So we want to tell the reader that the function is constant from x equals negative 3 to positive 3. So let's go ahead and put that in interval notation. So it's going to be the interval from negative 3 to positive 3. This point is not graphed. It is fake graphed because we have an open circle. So we're going to put parentheses at negative 3. And then this point is graphed, so we're going to go ahead and include that. Okay. So uh, if we keep tracing this graph uh, after 3, then we are going up, or it is increasing. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's increasing from this x value to that at to that x value. Sorry for my pause. So we're increasing from x equals 3, and we're getting all the positive numbers. So it's going to be from 3 to infinity. We already have an interval uh, in the increasing, so we're going to go ahead and put the union symbol. So uh, once again, the function is also increasing from x equals 3 to infinity, or the interval from 3 to infinity. Fantastic. So uh, I think we're done tracing the, the graph. Uh, there's not a, uh, an interval where the function is decreasing. So same speech. If it doesn't apply, just put none. For the grand finale, let's go ahead and evaluate this function at negative 4, negative 3, and 1. So f of negative 4, what is the value of this function when the input equals negative 4? So this is how I do it. I pretty much locate negative 4 on the x-axis, and then I go up or down until I hit my mark. So in this case, we go down, and at this point, let me go ahead and label the coordinate. It's negative 4, negative 3. So f of negative 4, when the input is negative 4, the output is negative 3, or the value of the function is negative 3. So in this case, f of negative 4 with confidence equals negative 3. For the almost grand finale, f of negative 3. So we want to evaluate this function at negative 3. So when the input is negative 3, what is the output? 
So I'm going to locate um, negative 3 on the x-axis and then I'll go up or down until I hit my graph. When I go down, this point is not part of the graph, so just kidding. When I go up, that point is also not part of the graph. So um, the function is not defined at negative 3. So we're just going to say none. Oh, not defined, sorry. So the function is not defined at f of negative 3, but um, the books don't write that. They'll just write undefined. It's a, it's a personal choice, okay? So f of 1, so we want to evaluate that function at 1. So when the input is 1, what is the output? So uh, let's go ahead and locate 1 on the x-axis, and we'll go up or down till we hit our mark. And at this point, we are at 1, 2. So the model of this story is f of 1 is 2. The value of this function at 1 is 2. Okay, so I think we hit all these problems, so we're good to go. Thanks, guys.